Uh, my name is Adas Kuri. Uh, I'm from Sudan, Northern Sudan, uh, from an area called Al Manasir. This area will be submerged by uh, Marawi Dam uh, project. The area in which the dam is built within Northern Sudan, the Nile force cataracts or rabbit, there are six uh, cataracts on the river Nile. This is the fourth one. Uh, the area uh, is uh, uh, old in history. Uh, this is uh, uh, where the Koishetic and Nabatan civilization, the oldest African civilization, uh, took place and ruled from this area and conquered Egypt and uh, up to Palestine. A thousand years or more than two thousand years ago. Uh, so the, the area is very rich in, in, in history. Now uh, people live in the area depend mainly on the Nile or, the, or their life depend on, on the Nile. They are a small farmer. Uh, they farm their plots and irrigate uh, by pumping water from, uh, from the Nile. Uh, the Marawi Dam uh, project uh, according to the Dam Authority, it is a hydropower project that is to produce 1,250 megawatts of uh, hydropower. Uh, it is started uh, in 2003, funded uh, by Chinese uh, Exim Bank and Arab uh, Development Bank like Kuwait Development Bank, Saudi Development Bank, Abu Dhabi Development Bank, Sultanate of Oman, and the state of Qatar. Plus, of course, Sudanese uh, government. Uh, the project cost uh, could reach, and I say could because we don't know the exact figure, uh, two, two billion uh, dollars. It is a massive uh, project that stretches for nine kilometers across the, 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 the Nile uh, uh, course. It will displace more than 50,000 people, small farmers living along the, the bank of the Nile. The project will have a, a, a reservoir stretching for 170 kilometers southwards of the, of the dam. The dam has been marked from the start by a major human uh, rights violation uh, and uh, it also violates uh, international standards in infra regarding inf infrastructure projects. And uh, two experts documented that the, the dam project violates World Bank guidelines on 63 counts. The dam, the project has no uh, environmental impact assessment study. The only study available uh, was prepared by Lahmer, the, the dam consultant. There are three groups will be affected by the dam. These are the Hamadab. This, uh, we used to know this project as a Hamadab dam, but due to political uh, interest, it is name has been changed to Marawi, but for us as affected people, we know it as Hamadab Dam. So there's a group of the Hamadab where the dam is built. The Amri, uh, second largest group, the Hamadab represent 8%, the Amri represent 28, uh, 28%, and the Manasir 67%. Uh, Hamadab has been displaced to a desert location called Al Murtaba, about uh, from st starting from 7 to 40 kilometers into the desert, the desert away from the Nile. Amri, part, half of Amri has been displaced to another desert location, the other half still remain in the area. The Manasir has not yet been displaced. The main demand of the affected uh, group is to be resettled around the reservoir. The affected communities are not against the dam. 
And because the life is very harsh in that area, the communities thought that the dam could bring some benefit and improve their life, whereas the reverse has happened. Um, there has been, as I said earlier, a massive human rights abuse affected communities. A member of affected communities has been have been detained, tortured, abused, and last year, in April last year, the dam militia attacked a peaceful meeting uh, in Amri and shot uh, three uh, leaders of the Amri people, of the affected communities, and injured 40 of them. Uh, since that time, the situation remained tense. The Dam Authority continues to refuse to negotiate with the affected uh, communities and it uh, wants to relocate them in the desert. That is the main point of conflict. In northern Sudan, the water is live everywhere, but in that part of Sudan, where the, the Nile is the only source for water, you cannot live in the desert because it's too high, the, the, the temperature is too high, it gets up to 44 Celsius and there is no arable land in the desert. So the main demand of the affected communities is to be resettled around the reservoir near the water and in, in an attempt to avoid any conflict with the Dam Authority, the affected communities said clearly that we don't want compensation, we don't want houses, we want to be resettled around the reservoir. And if the government is not prepared to compensate us, we will build our own houses. But even at this level, uh, the government doesn't seem to be satisfied by this. And the, uh, it, I mean the government insists of relocating the affected communities to the desert. And this is a point of conflict. Unfortunately, this process has started and is still going on. And if continues, then a catastrophe in northern Sudan is uh, unavoidable because the affected communities say clearly that they are not going to leave their land and whatever happened they are going to remain in their land.